Hello today's video we have the following content. Lucy Erin reveals the mystery of Bruce Lee's coffin explosion and reveals details of Bruce Lee's son Brandon Lee's accidental death. International Kung Fu superstar Bruce Lee died at the peak of his career at the age of 32. And his son Brandon Lee also died unexpectedly at the peak of his acting career at the age of 28. The father and son could have achieved greater success in their acting careers, but both died young, which has triggered many speculations from the outside world, including various conspiracy theories. Many netizens even link Brandon Lee's accidental death to Bruce Lee's various grievances and disputes during his lifetime, making the death of Bruce Lee and his son even more shrouded in mystery. In fact, in recent years, there have been many articles revealing the truth that have explored the reasons for the early death of Bruce Lee and his son. Conspiracy theories are rare, and Brandon Lee's death was completely accidental. On July 20, according to Hong Kong media reports, Wu Siyuan, the permanent honorary president of the Hong Kong Film Directors Association, and novelist and film screenwriter Shen Zichen attended a film lecture. During the lecture, Wu Siyuan shared many stories about Bruce Lee, including the mystery of Bruce Lee's coffin explosion and the truth of Brandon Lee's accidental death. Brandon Lee's accidental death has become the focus of discussion among netizens, and various statements about this incident have emerged online. Although Brandon Lee's death was characterized as an accident, many netizens are still skeptical about it. In this lecture, Wu Siyuan mentioned Brandon Lee's accidental death again and revealed more details. On the evening of April 1, 1993, Brandon Lee was accidentally shot by a prop gun while filming a gunfight scene in the movie The Crow and unfortunately died. Why was there a bullet in the prop gun? This question has become the focus of discussion about his accidental death. Wu Siyuan revealed that he had visited the set where Brandon Lee had an accident for work reasons and asked the local producer. Usually, the set will carefully check the guns when shooting gunfight scenes, and blank bullets are used instead of live bullets. Wu Siyuan mentioned that during the filming of The Crow, a scene in which Brandon Lee participated was originally a gunfight scene. In the previous filming, a gun fired blank bullets, but the shell of the bullet was stuck in the barrel and could not be fired. The staff responsible for managing the props did not find this problem during the inspection, and ended up reloading the bullets to shoot Brandon Lee's gunfight scene. When the actor was shooting, the shell stuck in the barrel was shot out by the powerful firepower of the blank bullet, and eventually hit Brandon Lee, causing his accidental death. Rumors about the sudden explosion of the coffin at Bruce Lee's funeral have been widely circulated on the internet. In this regard, Wu Siren said that this incident was true, and he had asked the staff who was responsible for transporting the coffin at the time. However, the other party was also puzzled because the coffin used was of the highest quality and could not explain why it suddenly exploded. Wu Siren revealed that Bruce Lee's funeral was held in Hong Kong that year, and his body was transported from Hong Kong to Seattle. When arriving at Seattle Airport, due to rain, the coffin exploded and Bruce Lee's remains were blurred. After arriving in Los Angeles, the locals hired a makeup artist to repair Bruce Lee and prepared a copper coffin to hold his body. What was the reason for the coffin to burst? Wu Siyuan revealed that the general view in the circle was that because the coffin was extremely airtight, when the air pressure on the plane changed, the air pressure inside and outside was inconsistent, which caused the coffin to burst after getting off the plane. From the current situation, this statement is the most convincing. The mystery rumored by the outside world does not actually exist but it has become more and more mysterious on the internet because of the long time. The accidental death of Brandon Lee has always caused widespread discussion, mainly because of Bruce Lee's great fame. Many netizens feel sorry for the untimely death of Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee, and believe that if they were still alive, the influence of kung fu movies would undoubtedly be greater than it is now. It's a pity that God is playing tricks on people. Next news. Bruce Lee's grave in the United States, his son will always be by his side and the twelve words on the tombstone have profound meanings. On the night of July 20, 1973, Kung Fu King Bruce Lee died at the Elizabeth Hospital in Hong Kong at the age of 33. Although the hospital blocked the news, the news of Bruce Lee's death spread quickly and immediately became a blockbuster news that shocked everyone, causing many media to compete to report it frantically. On July 22, Hong Kong's New Star Daily reported on the front page in the form of exclusive news that Bruce Lee did not die at home. The place where he was unconscious before his death was in the boudoir of the porn star named Ding. The article stated. Around 7 o'clock last night, Bruce Lee talked to the residents of a star named Ding. Soon after, Bruce Lee fell asleep in the star's bedroom because of a headache. At 9.20, 
Dean entered the room to wake Bruce Lee up to keep an appointment with Zhu and Hui. However, Bruce Lee did not respond, and Dean was shocked to find that he had fallen into a coma. Dean was extremely frightened and hurriedly called a private doctor he knew. The doctor rushed to Dean's house to give Bruce Lee first aid, but unfortunately it was ineffective, so he was sent to Elizabeth Hospital. On July 25th, Bruce Lee's body was sent to the Kowloon Funeral Home in Tai Kok Sui and opened to the public for condolences. The farewell ceremony for Bruce Lee's body was grand in scale. The streets of Hong Kong were deserted, and the Hong Kong government dispatched nearly a thousand police officers to maintain order. According to the photos taken that year, the two sides of the road where Bruce Lee's hearse passed were full of people seeing him off. When the hearse reached 200 meters away from the funeral home, it could no longer move forward. It was surrounded by grieving citizens and fans. The farewell ceremony for the body began, and Bruce Lee's coffin was opened. He was wearing a tang suit and his face was very peaceful. Although Bruce Lee's wife Linda Emery was American, she followed Chinese traditional customs and wore mourning for her husband. When Bruce Lee passed away, his son Brandon Lee was only eight years old and his daughter Shannon Lee was only four years old. After the grand farewell ceremony, Bruce Lee's coffin was transported to Seattle, USA for burial. For Bruce Lee, Seattle was the place where his dream of Kung Fu began. In 1962, when Bruce Lee was 22 years old, he founded the Jun Fang Kung Fu Institute while studying philosophy at the Seattle campus of the University of Washington. While studying in Seattle, Bruce Lee and his classmate Linda fell in love with each other and then got married. To be precise, Bruce Lee is a Chinese-American, and Linda is a white American with Irish ancestry. They are both Americans, so it is reasonable for Bruce Lee to be buried in the United States after his death. After Bruce Lee's coffin arrived in Seattle, his relatives and friends held a small farewell ceremony for him again. After Linda discussed with Bruce Lee's parents and others, they decided to use Lakeview Cemetery in Seattle as Bruce Lee's resting place. Lakeview Cemetery was founded in 1872. Many famous people in Seattle are buried here, including the Denny family who founded Seattle. Lakeview Cemetery is located in the Capitol Hill in the north of Seattle, bordering Lake Washington to the east, Lake Union to the west, and Capitol Hill in Seattle to the south. No matter from which angle you look at it, this place is a good place for feng shui, and the scenery is picturesque in all seasons. Compared with the graves of other people in the cemetery, Bruce Lee's grave is no different from that of other people in the cemetery. It is just an ordinary grave. Bruce Lee's grave is covered with crimson marble, and a tombstone made of crimson marble stands behind it, which is integrated with each other. Bruce Lee's tombstone has a photo of him embedded above it, and below the photo are engraved his English name Bruce Lee, his original Chinese name Lee's Henfin, and his birth and death years. In a sense, these 12 words are the Kung Fu philosophy that Bruce Lee adhered to in his short life, which contains profound meaning and is thought-provoking. As we all know, Bruce Lee is world-renowned for creating Jeet Kune Do, and the philosophy he believed in is precisely these 12 words. In short, everything contains two levels of finite and infinite. Infinite things can be created at the finite level, and finite things can be controlled at the infinite level, just like yin and yang are inseparable. It is extremely sad that Bruce Lee's son Brandon Lee also died early, and has been with his father ever since. In the early morning of April 1, 1993, Brandon Lee was shot dead by a real bullet fired by a prop gun of his opponent while filming on a movie set in Wilmington, North Carolina, USA. He was 28 years old. Similar to the confusing cause of Bruce Lee's death, the reason why the prop gun shot a real bullet and killed Brandon Lee is still an unsolved mystery. On the third day after Brandon Lee's death, his body was transported to Seattle and buried next to his father. The style of Brandon Lee's cemetery is similar to that of Bruce Lee's, except that it is made of black marble. Brandon Lee's tombstone is engraved with his English name and the year of his birth and death. The marble covering the tomb is engraved with an English epitaph. Since we cannot know when we will die, we often think that life is an inexhaustible wealth, but some things only happen a few times, or to be exact, a very few times. Do you still remember a few afternoons in your childhood, those afternoons that were so important that you would no longer be yourself without them? Maybe only four or five times, or even less. How many full moons can you still see? Maybe only twenty times. Although you still think it will be endless. Since Bruce Lee was buried in Lakeview Cemetery, this place has become a sacred place in the eyes of Kung Fu enthusiasts around the world. Even though Bruce Lee has been dead for half a century, Kung Fu enthusiasts come to pay tribute to him every day because of his name. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section.
Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 